everybody. In today's video, we are doing a full face of Wet n Wild products. So from primers to setting sprays, we're doing the whole thing. And because we're testing a lot of products, we're actually going to break this into two different videos. So there's going to be a part one and a part two. So this is part one. This company has been around since 1979 and they are 100% cruelty free. And I think everybody knows about Wet n Wild, but if you don't, you can find them not only on their website, but you can find them in drugstores, retail chains like Ulta, and then also on Amazon, which we purchased all of our products on Amazon. We did. Okay, so let's get into these products. Let's start with the primers. Yeah, and we used two, we actually purchased two separate yep. primers. So I got the Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water. I got this in In Love with Cocoa, and I purchased this for $6.99. Now, what's great about this, it's really a 3-in-1. So it's supposed to hydrate, smooth, brighten your skin, give you a dewy look, and help keep your makeup to last longer throughout the day and into the evening. And I think you can use this as like a primer, a setting spray, mm -hmm. and then a refresher throughout the day. Yep. I will say I typically don't like fragrance in my makeup. I typically stay away from that. This does have a coconut coconutty scent to it. I'm a sucker for all things coconut. So when I saw <laughs> coconut, I'm like, I'm trying it. Um, it does have a, a slight coconut scent. I do like the scent. What I also love about this is that the mist is very fine. So when you spray it, it doesn't like spit at you and it really does give nice coverage. Um, and I also love that it really gives my skin a nice dewy and smooth look. So my, my face really looks primed and ready to put the rest of my makeup on. And I feel that it really help my makeup last. So I am actually really impressed with this little primer water and I've never used it before. So I think I might be keeping it in my rotation. <laughs> so I used the Glass Correct. It's a color corrector and a primer in one. And this is supposed to correct redness and then give you a crystal kind of glass-like finish. I paid $6.99 on Amazon and I, I adore this. This is my new primer. I think that it gives a great finish, not only alone, so you can wear this alone and you can also wear it under your foundation or your, um, your skin tint or whatever you wear. Um, and it just gives you a nice, smooth, dewy, glassy finish. So if you like that, if you like that finish, I would suggest giving this a try. It really does give you that great finish. It is a green color. So ideally it would cover some of the redness. I found that I kind of had to reapply it. It didn't take all my redness away. I do have little veins, little, little um, discolorations that are red. It didn't take them all away, but it gave me an overall smooth look and an overall consistent look. For a base coat, I love this. Okay, next up is the foundation, and we actually got the same one. <laughs> it is the Photo Focus Foundation. I got mine in the dewy finish. So did I. This foundation is supposed to be lightweight, buildable coverage, and I got mine for $5.03 on Amazon. Same. I don't normally wear full coverage foundation. I am more tinted moisturizer, skin tint person. That's what I prefer. So for me, Foundations always tend to be heavy on my skin and I feel like I'm wearing makeup. So I was interested to see how this was going to look. And the shade I used is cream beige. And selecting a shade online is always stress inducing for me because I always seem to pick the, the wrong one. But I actually think I got it right with this one. So cream beige is the perfect shade for me. I used it just on moisturized skin, on moisturized primed skin and is lightweight but I felt like I had makeup on, that you could see that I had makeup on and it just, it, it didn't feel heavy for me, but it looked a little heavy for me. But I like that it's buildable. I like that there were some spots that I just put a little extra on and I, and I did like that about this. Overall, I really liked the finish. I, I do prefer a dewy finish, so that was right up my alley. And when I applied it, I actually used a new product for Wet n Wild and that is the two-in-one sponge. And this sponge has kind of a silicone 
bit right in the center to help you spread the product of whatever you're using. So whether it's the foundation or, or a cream blush or anything else, uh, concealer, and then you can blend it with the sponge part. And I really liked this too. I got this on Amazon for $5.99 as well. So I really liked this both even though it looked a little heavy, it was just a finish I wasn't used to because I don't normally wear foundation. But at the end of the day, I loved how my skin looked. It still looked great. I really liked at the end of the day, I liked my skin as much, even more so at the end of the day as I did at the beginning of the day. So I'm really a fan of this foundation for someone who doesn't normally wear full foundation. I'm a fan. I got the shade Golden Beige and I think I actually did really well on the shade match as well. It was, when I first put it on, it looked a little bit yellow, but once I started blending it in, it blended in perfectly and I didn't feel that I needed to take it down on my neck to make my neck match. So I think I hit it right on the head with the shade match. Um, one of the things I will say, I was really caught off guard by the applicator of this product because it is not a brush or a doe foot applicator. It's like a paddle. <laughs> like a paddle and it was a little bit alarming so when you first put it on you're like okay this is a little bit strange but I actually liked it I didn't mind it I think you could really control the amount of product that you put on so I, I'm actually quite a fan of of the applicator as far as the finish I love dewy I love dewy anything give me more dew is what I say <laughs> so I applied this two different ways I tested it for two days and I applied it two different ways. I first used my little foundation brush um, that I typically use, and I thought it applied really well with the brush. It applied really beautifully, blended in. The second day, I used a really damp sponge my makeup sponge. I didn't see that they had the makeup sponge that you use. I would have loved to have tried that. So I just used the ones that I normally use. And I, I really like that as well too. I think it really helped enhance the dewiness of the product and it really looked good on my skin. Now we are in our 50s. So I'm always afraid when I'm picking out foundations, am I going to make am I going to pick something that really enhances every, you know, wrinkle and, and and texture of my skin. I think my skin looked absolutely beautiful in this. Side note though, I did moisturize really well with my usual moisturizers, my CeraVe moisturizers. I moisturized the day, the first day that I tested this. The second day, I'm going to blame it on menopause brain that I forgot to put my moisturizer on. And this did not work well at all. I tend to have dry skin, so it clung to every dry patch and did show some texture on my skin. But if you moisturize, 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 I think this works really, really well. And I really loved how my skin looked at the end of the night. It lasted all day and I, I wore this about nine hours. So at, at the ninth hour, my skin looked really good. So I am very, very impressed with this foundation. The next product we tested was the Photo Focus Concealer, and we both did choose the same concealer. And this has a lightweight, buildable coverage with a matte finish, and it is supposed to be um, white cast free under seven different lighting conditions, which was interesting. So I got the shade Light Medium, and right off the bat, I loved how creamy this formula was. It blended under my eyes really nicely. But that's pretty much all I liked about it. This was kind of a miss for me. I am very, very particular about my concealers. And of course, like I said, we're in our 50s. So I really want something that's going to be hydrating and not settle into my lines and also cover my dark circles. I'm a dark circle sufferer. And I just didn't get it with this concealer. I think it kind of missed almost every mark with me. Um, I have it on today and you can clearly see that I have dark circles under my eyes. And, you know, it's kind of off-putting a little bit when I'm looking at my, my eye look. Um, I will say that by the end of the day, 
I didn't get very much creasing. I had a little bit of creasing. My eyes did not look dry. They just looked even more dark under because it just didn't really seem to stay very well on my under my eyes. Yeah, um, I kind of had the same experience that, that you did. It applies well, it blends well. I will say the second day that I used it, I, I used a damp sponge. I, I, I did dampen the sponge to blend it in. And um, before I applied it the second day, I actually used um, a prep spray mm. um, to, to really moisturize under my eyes because the first day I, I did, it wasn't, the product didn't look creasy. It just accentuated the wrinkles that I have under my eyes by the end of the day. So um, I, I'm not a big dark circle sufferer. So, you know, for me, that that really wasn't something that I was measuring. But I will say the second day, it did look a little bit better um, by the end of the day using a little bit more moisture in, when I was putting it on. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a miss for me. Um, I paid $4.49 for it and Same. I, and I used, um, the shade light medium as well. So yeah, for me, it, it's, it's a bit of a miss. I, I'm, um, yeah, yeah. Not, a, not, not so much a fan of this one. So the next product that I am going to talk about that I used is the photo focus loose setting powder and I got it in translucent. And I typically, and I really wanted to try this because I normally don't like powders under my eyes to set my concealer because I find them to be very drying. And then it just looks very creasy under my eyes by the end of the night. And it makes my eyes almost look a little bit older. So I've only found one powder that is really good under my eyes, So I, but it's higher end. So I wanted to give this a try and see if I liked it as well. And I really do. I actually love this product a lot. It brightened my eyes. It helped brighten my eyes because as I said, I do suffer from dark circles. So where the concealer kind of didn't really cover, this helped brighten a little bit, if that makes sense. And it did not dry my under eyes out at all. Now I did have eye cream on underneath, but it did not dry my eyes out at all and it didn't settle and make my eyes look even more creasy or wrinkly by the end of the night. So big fan, big fan. Now I did not use this anywhere else other than my under eyes. Okay, next up is blushes and I purchased the Color Icon Blush in Pinch Me Pink and I paid $3.19. This is a powder blush that's supposed to give you a soft focus effect and it has a long lasting and buildable color and I will say that it does all that. It was such a hit for me. I loved this blush so much. It gave me such nice pigment on my cheeks and I just used a little bit to start and the pigment was wow. I was so wowed by it the minute I put it on my cheeks and it blended beautifully and not only did it blend beautifully, but it stayed throughout the day. By the end of the night, I still look like I had that like little pinched, you know, like when you pinch your cheeks and you get that little glow. That is still how my cheeks looked. I am a huge, huge fan of this blush. I used two different blushes. I also used the Color Icon Powder Blush. I got it in Bed of Roses then. And I love this for $3.19 for the pigment that you get, the staying power that you get, and just the blendability that you get. It rivals some of the higher end products that we used, uh, that we've used for blushes. I also used the Mega Glow Makeup Stick Blush in Floral Majority. And I used this as kind of a contour. So I kind of put this here and blended it and it's a cream to powder finish so um, it, it blends really easily so I used this kind of as a contour here and then I used the the powder the rest of the way and I love them both and I think they're great products for the cost this was $4.49 $3.19 one or the other both great products and they stayed they didn't go in my creases and they give you a nice fresh look that i love great products okay next up is bronzer 
And I don't use bronzer very often. Um, I use it occasionally and more often in the summertime, you know, when I have maybe a little bit more color. So I don't use it that often. So for this one, it's the Color Icon Bronzer. The color that I used was Ticket to Brazil. And it was kind of a non product for me. It didn't really add color. What it added for me was shimmer. And while I like a dewy complexion, I'm not so keen on the shimmer because I feel like it ages me. I feel like it kind of picks up on all the wrinkles and imperfections that I have and it highlights that. So I don't use bronzer very often. So with this one, I did use it kind of on my cheeks, um, down my nose and on my, um, on my forehead. And I just, I, I wasn't a big fan of it. I, I don't feel like it added anything to my overall makeup look. And maybe it was the color that I chose because it is a lighter color. Um, so for me, it was, it's kind of a pass and I paid $3.98 for this. And yeah, it was, it's a, it's a pass for me. I love bronzer. Bronzer is one of my favorite makeup products. I I just love a good bronzer. And I do prefer powder bronzers over creams. And what, what I thought was interesting about this was this is kind of a hybrid. It applies like a cream, but then sets like a powder. And it is a shimmery bronzer. I got the shade Palm Beach Ready and paid $3.98. And I absolutely love this color. I did not mind the shimmer at all. I thought this was really perfect to just warm up my face. And it did the job. It gave a nice shimmer that I appreciated. And it just kind of gives you that nice sun-kissed glow. Hey, that's going to do it for us today. That's wrapping up part one of our Wet n Wild series. Make sure to check out part two. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And check us out on Instagram and Facebook because we are there too. And if you have tried any of these Wet n Wild products, let us know in the comments. And we will see you next time. See ya. Bye.